Hello iconic figures and welcome to the tube. We got a pretty hurts show for you tonight and that's what's on. Amazon, not Google, buys Twitch. Ralph Lauren's new polo tech shirt. New app offers hot insider London tips. GoPro plays fetch with dogs, the social watch and more. Well, let's start with some surveillance. <laughs> Okay, ever felt like buying something to treat yourself like a surveillance system that can track everyone in your country? Well, now you can. Makers of surveillance systems are offering governments across the world the ability to track movements of almost anybody who carries a cell phone, whether they are blocks, uh, blocks away or on another continent. The world's most powerful intelligence services, such as the NSA, long have used cell phone data to track targets around the globe. Experts say these new systems allow less technically advanced governments to track people in any nation with relative ease and precision. One of the market leaders in this field is Verint, a sophisticated Israeli-American security and intelligence contractor that employs former government agents, including special forces soldiers. Verint reports that the company's systems are used by more than 10,000 organizations in over 180 countries. Trees. Here's what they have to say about themselves. This is us, the people of the world. We're constantly communicating with each other, leaving our own unique footprints. Most of us are just living our lives, but some are involved in such illicit activities as crime and terror. The challenge is to intercept and locate their footprints from all of the big data that's in motion. That's what Verant Communications and Cyber Intelligence Solutions do. Transform voice, video, and data into actionable intelligence to help neutralize crime and terror. Our comprehensive target and mass communications interception solutions can identify correlations and patterns from virtually any network, helping agencies expose threats and leads crucial to investigations. Verant Accurate Mobile Location Solutions extract precise location information from cellular networks to track targets in real time, analyze their routines, and generate geographical alerts of suspicious movements. Yeah, good luck with that. And now, Amazon confirmed today that it has reached an agreement to buy video game live streaming service Twitch for $970 million. The acquisition is expected to close in the second half of 2014. Confirmation of the deal comes after multiple reports that estimated Amazon's buyout of Twitch at more than $1 billion. Earlier reports indicated that Google's YouTube was eyeing Twitch for purchase. Jeff Bezos founder and CEO of Amazon.com, said in a release that broadcasting and watching gameplay is a global phenomenon, and Twitch has built a platform that brings together tens of millions of people who watch billions of minutes of games each month. And indeed, while Twitch is just three years old, it's already responsible for an astonishing 3% of the web's total traffic. So why Twitch, why Amazon, and why now? With me in the studio to make some sense of this deal is i24 News tech correspondent, Shai Good evening. Good evening. So help me, let's make some sense out of it. Okay, let's try to make some sense. Uh, Twitch is one of the uh, fastest growing companies in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Uh, when we talk numbers, uh, last year the championship of uh, a game called League of Legends uh, got 32 million views, that's Super Bowl numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, and Twitch mm -hmm. got into the point where it was a very, it, it's still a very small company and it's growing faster, faster than it can mm -hmm. uh, be. And they needed to be bought by a big company in order to you know, uh, get the servers they need and get the infrastructure they need to uh, grow, to grow even, even bigger. But yeah. before that, let's talk about the Google Amazon Snatch. Yeah. How did that happen and is it a good thing for Twitch? Uh, it's a good thing for Twitch. It was also a good thing if they would, buy, would be bought by Google. Mm -hmm. uh, both are very good companies to be bought by, you know. Um, but. Amazon has its advantages. Um, Google really wanted Twitch, but there was um, fear from an antitrust lawsuit because they already have the biggest streaming video website in the world, which is YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amazon really needed to get into the game 
with uh, online video streaming. They are so for people who don't really understand, you, you, the, the, some people who play games on YouTube as well. Twitch is another site which is a competitor in some yeah. way. Okay. It is a competitor, but is, it is a better competitor uh, from that uh, category in YouTube because mm -hmm. it's streamed live and it has a really, really big uh, gamers community which uh, has a lot of viewers and participated. And y there's also chats inside the channels. And uh, Google wanted Twitch not only for the video, but, on, but also for the community. The community itself is very, very uh, big and uh, gets the, uh, it c continues to develop. When you think about it, how Google tried to build a community with Google Plus and they failed miserably. Because the community that Twitch has is 55 million unique users a month. Yeah. That's it, a lot. Yeah, it's the four, fourth biggest site in the US today. So what happened to Google? Did they lose? Did they snooze? Did they not want it? Do we know? We still don't know. There's the antitrust uh, thing that maybe was the um, thing that made um, Twitch go to Amazon. When we talk in numbers, it seems like Amazon bought uh, Twitch in the same number offered by Google. So it's not really uh, in the economic side. Mm -hmm. I think it's the fact that Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, really wants to get inside into gaming. Um, he uh, Amazon has the new Amazon Fire TV box set, which streams. Uh, video games into your living room. Because yeah, in the beginning, when you hear about Amazon and Twitch, you can't really see the connection. Doesn't even uh, you can't even imagine a business model that will work together. So you're saying it's the streaming service, probably. The, you have to think about Amazon as a new kind of company because n we know them as this thing where you buy books mm -hmm. or you know physical stuff. But now Amazon is much more into media streaming. They stream music and movies and television shows. They even produce their own video and their own television shows. Mm -hmm. So when you think about it, it's a match made in heaven because they need a really good infrastructure for the video streaming, live video streaming, which Twitch has and it does better than Google. Mm -hmm. And they needed the community of people who are already are into streaming lives, even though it's only gaming, they are streaming their lives. They are but streaming their everyday thing that they do, and Amazon really wants in, into that thing. It's not only gaming. You can stream everything. People use Twitch to do it for games, mm -hmm. but Twitch is a very good uh, platform to stream live everything. Now think about it. Now I upload a video of myself that I did, like, you know, something I did today, a, a, a hour ago, five days ago, something like that. In Twitch, you can stream live your entire lives and it will be, it streams very good, it streams in HD and people already trust it. So it's a very good platform for it to develop even beyond games. We think about Twitch as these things for gamers and geeks, mm -hmm. but Amazon sees the potential there and... A platform for streaming, but on the other side, you can imagine that Amazon wants to be part of the gaming industry, to become yeah. a gaming giant rival of Sony and Microsoft. Yeah, of course, because Amazon really wants to do everything. And Jeff Bezos is really is a very smart businessman, and he always thinks 10 steps ahead of everybody. And Twitch is that, that 10 steps. Because Twitch, if we talk only about gamers, uh, we are talking about one of the biggest and fastest growing um, entertainment industries in the yeah, world. Yeah, there's lots of money now. And I think nowadays everybody wants to do everything, hoping that it will make them yeah. bigger, richer, yeah, and course. more popular. OK, thank you very much, I. Thank you. OK, let's move on. Now, wearable tech and fashion are about to collide on one of the most uh, watched tennis court games. Uh, at this year's US Open, the tennis watching world will get its first glimpse of the Polo Tech Smart Shirt, new wearable technology brought to you by one of the world's leading fashion designers, Ralph Lauren. The compression shirt, which will be worn by ball boys during the tournament, features biometric technology from OM Signal and the signature design of Ralph Lauren, put it on and it reads activity, breathing and heart rate, delivering it uh, all in real time to your smartphone. Check it out. Presenting the next evolution of wearable technology. Do you know your true strength? Speed. 
Imagine your body's full potential. Your breathing is shallow. Breathe deeper. What are your limits? How do you measure up? We believe that knowledge is power. Your heart rate is below target zone. We believe you need to know to grow. Push harder. Introducing the Polo Tech shirt, designed to help you lead a healthier, more informed life. Your workout is complete. By providing comprehensive biometric data in real time, directly to your phone or tablet. The future of fashion and technology. From Polo Ralph Lauren. Creepy and lovely. Now, even though the smart shirt will be on display throughout the US Open, it's still only considered a prototype. The final product won't arrive in stores until early next year. Darn, you'll have to wait. And now, one of the things your phone did not solve yet is the fact that sometimes you still have, well, nothing to do but be on your phone. Dojo is here to change exactly that. Dojo is an app that offers a curated visual guide with suggestions of how to spend your days and nights out in London. Specifically, if you an 18 to 35 year old looking for some excitement. The app offers daily suggestions that range from pop-ups, places to eat, exhibitions, nightclubs and cozy venues, bars and member clubs using a mixture of its own algorithm to surface events from blogs, publications, Twitter and Facebook. The editorial team is made up for, of uh, young Londoners who handpick and curate each day's finds presented based on time and day and weather. The app also adapts to your personal preferences. Now we want something like that here in Tel Aviv and I am free tonight. Algorithm, talk to me. And now, it was only a matter of time before GoPro will try to burst into the canine market. And indeed, yesterday GoPro announced Fetch, a harness that lets you mount two Hero GoPro cameras on your dog. Isn't it exactly what you and your hound needed? Yes, it is. Exactly. The first camera is attached uh, on the back for the view just uh, behind the head, while the second is fitted on the chest for an angle closer to the ground level. This is what it looks like. Capture the world from your dog's point of view with Fetch, the first GoPro mount made just for dogs. With camera mounts on the back and chest, lets you capture over the head shots of running, jumping, fetch, and more. Or mount cameras in both locations to capture both perspectives. Fetch was specifically designed to keep your pet comfy, no matter what activity he's doing. With durable, water-friendly construction, you can take Fetch swimming, dog park hopping, frisbee throwing, and more without a worry. If the harness gets dirty, simply rinse it off or toss it in your washer to keep it clean. Fetch includes a camera tether to provide an extra layer of security for when your dog gets rowdy. In case the camera gets knocked off or comes loose, the tether helps prevent you from losing it. Compatible with all GoPro cameras, Fetch is a fun way to capture the world from your dog's point of view and join the adventure with your favorite furry friend. Yep, your dog is going to love the fact that you made a camera stand out of him. Rough. And now, selfies are now dead, but they still have the ability to kill you. Like this crazy fool called Daniel Lau, who made a selfie with his friends from a rooftop of a Hong Kong skyscraper. Ah. Ah, why? 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 Ah, not for me. Okay. It's, uh, okay, it's good to have a good imagination, sure, but do you know what's even better? Having a dad who can use special effects to put you inside all of your favorite movies and games. It's the return of the action dad. Action kid. Oh, no, I know what it is. I just, you're like three. Have you even heard of Portal? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, somebody help! Uh, I'm too busy filming. Let's play a little catch. Good job. Can you throw it? Tasta, wait at the window. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good 
Good job, buddy. High five. Yeah. Lovely, that's action kid, of course, not action dad. Well, that was a lovely show. Thanks for watching. Log on to our Twitter and then to our Tumblr. It's the Tube24, the Tube24. We'll be here tomorrow. And always remember, if you're going to be two-faced, at least make one of them pretty. That's Marilyn Monroe, not me. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.